Hi everyone, Laura here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a twisted card. Although it might seem complicated, it's really easy to make. So let's get started. First, choose your paper and trim it to 11 by 4 and a quarter inches. You can make it any size of course, I decided to go with these measurements as the final card will fit a 5 by 7 inches envelope. Now you need to score your card on an angle. I'm using my ruler and the embossing stylus to do so. Then fold the scored line and burnish with a bone folder. Next, you need to fold your card in half. There you have it, your card base is ready. If you decide on using a double sided pattern paper like this one, make sure you score from the bottom left corner towards the top right corner on the side you want it to show on the front of your card. Let's get back to our card. Next step is to mat the front of the card. In order to do so, I trimmed two pieces of paper. The easiest way to get the size right is to cut another 11 by 4 and a quarter inches paper, cut it in half on an angle and trim the sides by 1 8 of the inch to make it a bit smaller than the actual card. Unfold the card and cut the paper to size. I went the easy way and while holding my paper on the card, I just folded it. Then trimmed it. Do the same thing for the inside of the card. Next, mat the exterior of the card. You can use one piece of paper or cut it in half to have separate mats for the front and the back of the card. I went with the second option. For the inner pocket I used the same paper color as for the outside of the card. For the left side Cut a piece of white paper or card so you can write your message on it. The next step is optional. You can leave the card as it is or you can add a bit of double sided tape to fix the two parts together.
it's time to embellish the inside of the card. I used my dies to create a little scalloped frame which goes well with the wood grain background. Then I die cut an owl. All the supplies I used are linked in the description below. To finish the picture, I added a fussy cut butterfly from the first edition of my Posa paper pad and affixed it with foam tape to add a bit of dimension. For the front of the card, we'll do something different. Cut two 3 by 2 inches pieces of white card, a piece of ribbon and I cut a sentiment. Fold the ribbon in half, add a piece of double sided tape and affix it to the white card. Glue the two card pieces together. Add the sentiment on one side. It could be a die cut sentiment or a sticker, maybe an illustration, anything you want really. Insert the little bookmark we created in the front pocket of the card. Thanks so much for joining me for another card video. If you liked this tutorial and want to be notified about my future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again soon.